It's 13 days till Shark Week, and today we have a very special episode of The Daily Bite, dedicated to people who can't enjoy Shark Week because they suffer from salacophobia, the fear of sharks. It's a thing, really. Tell them, Jordan. Here at S-Dub, AKA Shark Week, you know that we love to get into the water with sharks, but for the general public, that can be a terrifying idea. That's why aquariums are a great resource to get up close with some sharks, all while keeping your hair dry. Now we sent our friend Nori Davis to the New York Aquarium to check out some of the sites. Let's take a look. Do it, Nori. What's up, guys? Nori Davis with the Daily Bite. Corresponded here to report on the shark exhibit at the New York Aquarium and conquer my fear of sharks. It could have been penguins. I'm not scared of them. We could talk all day about penguins, but no, I got to go look at sharks. <laughs> I'm fine, I'm fine. Thanks, Jordan. Thanks. What's up, John? How's it going, Nori? How you doing? Thanks for coming today. Thank you for having me, man. What do you think? A little frightened, but first time at the New York Aquarium, right? right. Don't be scared. We're all gonna right. show you why, all right? The way the sharks work, of course, is because they're the apex predators. There's a few of them. Mm. They're taking out a certain level of fish, which keeps everything in balance because... Oh, wait, what's an apex predator? Apex at the top, ah. right? So if you think about a food so they have their own food pyramid. Exactly. Yeah. That's exactly right. Ah! That's it, man. That is scary. This is what it is right here. Like, oh, well, first of all, this exhibit is dope, because, like, this is exactly what I'm thinking. Ah! Right there. What shark is this? So this is a whale shark. Okay. That's a sand tiger shark. This is a great white. So this is, I think, where you're talking about, right? Where you're wondering, am I going to get chewed up? Man. But really, when you think about He's it, what this means... in all the movies. These that's guys... That's the Sylvester Stallone of sharks. That's it. And this is the rock of sharks. <laughs> I lo and I like this right here where it says, Mythbuster, no shark has human that's right. on its menu. That's right. Shark attack on humans are rare. How do you feel? Do you feel scary? No, I feel like a cat. <laughs> I feel like a cat that's underwater that doesn't want to be underwater. But it's no, pretty, but this is beautiful. It's this cool, is... though, right? Wow. So here it is, city that never sleeps, sea that never sleeps, tons of fish. So all these fish are living here in New York City. That's right. Like, in our ocean. That's right. In our reservoirs. That's right. You know, this is why we're here, really. When people talk about why am I here, it's kind of an existential question, but I can tell you the reason why New York's here is because of all the marine wilderness that we have around us. John, I see right here the top level predators exactly. of sharks. A food web swirls overhead. So, as a human, where am I in this web? So this is the problem, really, where humans are, is we're above even the top level predator, okay. and that's the problem. Okay. And if you really put it into balance, these animals don't pose a threat to us. We pose a threat to them. And as we sit above this chain, we're the ones that take it out of balance. Mm. And what happens when that happens, of course, is we lose this incredible diversity, this color, this beauty. All right, so right yeah. now, where are we at, John? So it's, this is where it gets a little grim. Right? Yeah, it gets a little grim, right? Yeah. Which is the tremendous loss of sharks around the world. So fishermen going out there and, oh my God, look yeah, at that. Yeah, no, it's grim. Is there any laws, any legislation that's being passed right now to like, yeah. to, to make sure that these sharks are definitely being that's more protected? Because really, I'm seeing like, yeah. it's definitely us that's hurting them. That's right. And that's I a really guess, good question too, because that's how we got to do it, right? Yeah, and it looks like Hollywood loves to paint it as like, oh, look at this big old shark coming to eat right. this white girl. Right. But really, What's white the real girl story? got. Mm-hmm. A hundred million. That's exactly. right. Exactly. Wow. It's not, you know, we don't have to fear them. They have to and fear us. And that's wow. the sad story, right? This is, this is heartbreaking, man. Look at that.
It's the moment of truth for Nori as he learns that sharks might not be the most frightening thing in the water. Perhaps it's us. <laughs> so here it is. Oh, Yo. Look at this. Ow. Damn. Now these are some sharks, right? Yo, you have real love sharks that are like in the movies, but I'm not scared, man. This is just beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, this is the Hudson Canyon. You know, you talked about the Hudson River rolls yeah. past your home in Yonkers. Well, in the last ice age, it carved this massive canyon underwater, right? Okay. It's about the size of the Grand Canyon, two miles across, a mile deep, and nobody's ever gonna see it unless they come to the New York Aquarium where we've made this beautiful representation of it. John, I have to say, man, thank you so much. I mean, I really have a much more better understanding for sharks, much more love for them, and I'm damn sure not scared of them. Yeah. I'm scared of me. Us humans are what we can do exactly right. to them and not to help protect them. And you know, this is what it's all about, right? When we look at that, all that beautiful wildlife, we know it's just under the surface out here. Mm. You see, people are out here too, right? This is our world, this is our lives. This is what we need to connect to, and I think that's the biggest thing that we can take away from it. And I just want to thank you personally for coming out, because it was a lot of thank fun. You, man. Boy, right? Thanks thank you, man. Thanks to see Thank you, man. Thank you to the New York Aquarium for introducing me to my new oceanic friends. You guys are awesome. Love you guys. Abby, Alana, uh, uh, Amy Schumer, <laughs> Jerry Seinfeld, uh, the cast of That's My Mama, and uh, JJ from the good from Good Times. That's his actual name. 